Hey, what's up? Relationship Friday. I am KD Bo in the studio with licensed therapist and life coach Robin May. You good? I am good, Katie. So we've heard about the twilight zone. It's never really a good thing. But there's something worse. It is. It's called the roommate zone. Yes. If you're married, you don't want to be in that zone. Absolutely, Katie. It is so easy for couples to fall into the roommate zone. And what is the roommate zone? When you're just basically managing life together. Somebody's handling the kids. Somebody's handling the bills. You're like two ships passing in the night. You're not connected. You're about to say something. I I got to ask this because I'm curious now. So roommate zone, because I've seen couples, like for us, this ain't none of your business, but I tell you anyway. For us, everything goes in one pot and we divvy it out from there. So some people do the roommate is when we go out to eat, I had the Big Mac, you had the (laughs) filet of fish (laughs) You pay for yours, I pay for mine. Half the light bill, half the... Is that what you mean by that? Um, that is not where I was going. That's a whole nother topic about money. But is and that how cool, it, though? It depends. That's a whole nother topic. And it's so funny you're saying this, Katie, because you, um, a good friend of ours, and I had this big debate about this. That's another topic we need to do when it comes to money and marriage. But I'm meaning more in how you're living your life. Again, it's very easy for two couple to for a couple to be like two ships passing in the night. Mm. You know, like a roommate. Like you got you, you have your world, I have my world. You got your half two. of the light bill, I got my half. And I'm gonna do a session with him because he's very struggling. He's struggling in this area. I'm just so <laughs> I want to give you some tips. Like Katie, my passion is to give people who are looking at these videos. I want them to say, now that tip right there, I can walk away with. This wow. is a strategy that I can use. So I'm going to give you five tips to keep you out the roommate zone. The roommate zone also can be described as unintentional neglect. Because again, life demands begin to pull uh, pull away at us. So here's the first thing. I want to encourage you and your spouse to engage with one another. I want you to ask yourself, what do we do intentionally, Katie, that brings us to the table? In other words, what do we do intentionally to sit down at the table to discuss what's going on in our lives? Mm. What do you have coming up? What do I have coming up? What's going on with the children? Is there something I can help you with? Intentionally engage with one another. Come to the table and talk about your lives in an intentional way. Some people do it by having weekly meetings. Some people do it at the end of the night. They debrief their day. Make sure you engage. Number two, this is critical. You and I have talked about this a lot over the years. You and your spouse want to create a safe place. You want to be a safe place. In other words, your spouse comes home after dealing with all the demands of the day. You want to be a safe place where they can just rest. Mm. Well, they know that they're not going to get beat up at home as well. Mm. Well, they know that's where they're going to get refueled and encouraged. That they don't just come home and have to debrief by themselves. That you are a safe place Good. where they can come and let their hair down and know that they're going to be comforted. So, number one, I want you to engage. Be a safe place. This is my favorite one. I want you to learn to be the president of your spouse's fan club. Ooh. Nobody else should be able to cheer your spouse on better than you. Mm. You should know their victories. You should know their wins. You should know what they are great at and remind them of it. You should be bragging about your spouse. I want you to be the president of your spouse's fan club because, listen, we gravitate to where we are applauded. Mm. And so I want you to make sure that nobody else is applauding your spouse more than you. Number four, I want you to consider your spouse daily. That's even a scripture. The Bible tells us, let us consider how we are with one another. Considering means just taking in account what's going on with you. And and, and instead of, this is how I do it practically. I'm an adult. I have my own business. I have a lot going on. So I could just make my schedule and not even consider what's going on with my husband. But I stop and say, honey, I'm hosting an event. Is this going to be okay with you? Is this okay with your schedule? Is this okay with our finances? Make sure you're considering your spouse, that you're not living independently, that you're intentionally engaging and considering them. And this is the last one, y'all. This is going to be y'all's favorite one. I need y'all to have sex. Yeah! I need y'all to have oh, sex. Lord, uh, and I need y'all to have ah, you a know lot you of sex. The, you know you have sex. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. And let me be real, because somebody, I, I felt this in my spirit. Somebody is saying, but some roommates have sex. But I, wanted, I want you to have sex with your 
spouse. Let me tell you something. I know we enjoy sex. Sex is great. But God uses sex for a reason. Yes, I can tell absolutely. when absolutely. my spouse and I are disconnected, when we're just irritable with one another. It's because we haven't been together. So make sure you're having sex. I want you to rewind this video. I want you to identify at least one of those five strategies that you are going to use this week so you and your spouse can draw closer together and not further apart. And then uh, if, if there is something that you see on this video, and maybe it's not your marriage, but it's somebody that you know could really benefit from this, share it. They'll be blessed, okay? Relationship Absolutely. Friday. Robin May, I believe in marriage.com. There's a wealth of information there for you to be able to make sure that your marriage is on point.